So you've enabled two-factor authentication on all of your cloud applications. You're nice and secure. Or are you? Just when you thought everything was okay, hackers have developed methods to bypass your two-factor authentication. But don't worry, because in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use a more secure method of two-factor authentication. But before we start, as always, just a quick introduction. My name is Jonathan Edwards. I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. My IT company helps businesses with their IT support and the cyber security. Just before we get into the nitty gritty of this video, let's all remind ourselves what two-factor authentication is. Two-factor authentication can also be known as multi-factor authentication or MFA for short. It's when we log into our computer or cloud application, we need to enter our username, a password, and then another form of authentication. This other form of authentication could be a text message sent to our phone, it could be an app on our phone, or it could even be a phone call to our phone. By making this video, I am by no means telling you that two-factor authentication is no longer required. What I am saying is that some forms of two-factor authentication are stronger than others and hackers have developed ways to bypass some of the weaker forms of two-factor authentication. That's how IT security works. We build up our defences and then these hackers try to develop ways to beat those defences. We've always got to be kept on our toes and we've always got to be learning how to protect ourselves a little bit more. So what is the problem with some forms of multi-factor authentication? How are the hackers beating it? Well, let's look at a common cloud application, Microsoft 365. Hopefully, you've got multi-factor authentication enabled on your Microsoft 365. Our customers choose one of a few methods for the multi-factor authentication. Some people opt to get sent a text message when they're signing into Microsoft 365. Now, we've already covered in a previous video why you shouldn't use text message for multi-factor authentication. Other people opt to receive an automated phone call, and when they receive that phone call, they just press the hash key and it logs them in. And other people, or the vast majority of people, use the Microsoft Authenticator app, and it just prompts them to approve it when they are logging into their 365. So what is the problem with these forms of multi-factor authentication? Well, the problem is something called MFA bombing. Now, there are two criminal cybersecurity groups called Lapsus and Cozy Bear, and they have developed ways to get around all those methods of multi-factor authentication. So, who are these companies called Lapsus and Cozy Bear? Well, these companies are criminal gangs, and they are making a huge amount of money by hacking in to computer networks. Cozy Bear was a company who, early this year, hacked into the IT company SolarWinds. And Lapsus have recently hacked into Microsoft, Okta, and NVIDIA. So, these are big criminal gangs, and they are always looking to hack into computer networks. So, how does MFA bombing work? Well, surprisingly, it's fairly simple. Let's take the example of when you use a phone call for two-factor authentication. You'll enter your username and password, and then your phone will ring, and you'll just have to press the hash key. So, what do these criminal gangs do? Well, they'll enter your username and password, and your phone will ring, and they'll just keep doing that time and time again until you get fed up and press the hash key. And once you've done that, they are in. The same is true for things like the Microsoft Authenticator app. They will just keep bombarding you with prompts, keep doing it hundreds of times a day, hoping that eventually you'll just click on approve. Or some people take a different tack. Maybe they'll just do one a day, so it kind of goes under the radar. You might just pick your phone up, see the prompt, and just click on it without thinking. So what is the answer? I'm sure you're all frustrated. You've gone to the time and effort of implementing multi-factor authentication, and now here I am telling you that there's better ways to do it. 
Well, firstly, if you have implemented MFA for your cloud applications using an app, SMS or phone call, then good on you. You are already more secure than a lot of other people. If you want to get more secure, then you need to choose a stronger method of multi-factor authentication. You need to choose something that is called Fido2. So what is Fido2? Well, Fido2 is still multi-factor authentication, but it's a different type of multi-factor authentication. With Fido2, the second level of authentication needs to be done on the device that you're trying to use. So it could be a camera, it could be a fingerprint reader, or it could be something like this. This is called a YubiKey, and I always recommend that our clients buy them. So how does this work? Well, if you're logging into Microsoft 365, for example, you'll put in your username, you'll put in your password, and then you'll slot this into the side of your computer. And when you touch it, that's the second level of authentication. So it's nice and easy. And this level of authentication can bypass the MFA bombing. So these are available on Amazon, they're fairly cheap. I highly recommend that you get one. That will improve your MFA. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you again soon.